Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning everybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, cell phone now have developed on much first kind. For now, the cell phone has kept improvement than smartphone. Smartphone have much of function and advantages for student life of any learning subject. The function, for example, giving efficiency of taking information, is communication between student to student or student to teacher, expand of knowledge and using a student or learning tools. But in the other side, bring handphone have much of these advantages. So besides following the technology stream, it has to be in control and be responsible in using cell phone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this related with our motion today. So cell phone used to be allowed in school. Ladies and gentlemen, before I start to my argument, my name is Muhammad Marzu, the delegation of Senior School Number Churaha, and let me give some limitation and define some keywords of our motion today. Cell phone should be allowed in school. Cell phone is an independent telephone using battery without cable and receive audio from signal. Allowed is mean an agreement or be permitted to bring cell phone. School means every single learning group with physical learning on building in Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give some several premises of point or side why we should agree with the cell phone allowed at school. Ladies and gentlemen, in in the presence of side of students, the student life on this 21st century has big different. We could say it as the learning revolution. On the past, the student only get information by books on the library or by teacher only. But nowadays, the student directly to know the matter or knowledge by googling on web or only new or any new resources. And moreover, the book also available in electronic form, named electronic book. For example, in my class, the teacher will ask to enrich information of what we will discuss at class before we do our learning process at school. So at school, we can give more time to ask or discuss specific problem about those learning material. It gives more time to increase the analytics and critical thinking training for the student at their class. So the knowledge they get more deep and detailed. Ladies and gentlemen, Based on Kendrick Boot claim on www.kbr.id, it's sweet with the real fact today. The success of student academic learning process on K13 plus above 70%. Ladies and gentlemen, in the sight of the teacher, the existence of cell phone or smartphone with search engine like Google, Chrome, Wikipedia, and much of them get is the teacher and reduce the teacher responsibility to give all the knowledge for the student formally curriculum or decade without smartphone and technology advancement. The student get more role on the system to be independent on their learning forces, but this not make the teacher role disappear. But the teacher still need to give emotional and moral touch to the student so they are control and balance in studying and attitude. Ladies and gentlemen, this role also important to control and make the student be responsible of using technologies, for example, using cell phone for good things and inform the negative impact and things that we need avoid from using of cell phone. In social side, the allowing cell phone agreement is a good one for the student to educate them as alpha generation to build independency, social attitude. And their responsibility. For example, based on research and investigation of IAIN Bengkulu 2020, much of parents can't guide their children themselves to build their mental and responsibility of their gadget because of their intimacy to their children. So the children careless to their parents' rule or prohibition is different at school. Nowadays, 85% children more afraid to their teacher at school instead their own parents at home. They more obey what their teacher said. So 
continental manner, independency or responsibility of using gadget more effective at school while as a part of learning program. Ladies and gentlemen, based on my explanation and my argument above, I would like to emphasize the three premises or point of view why we should uh, agree with with this motion that uh, we should allow the the bring of cell phone. The first in the side of student. Uh, nowadays, the student uh, nowadays the student there to know the matter of knowledge by googling on web or any new resources. So the knowledge will will getting deep and detail and decide that give more time at class to increase their analytic and critical thinking training. Ladies and gentlemen, the second inside of the teacher, uh, get uh, bring 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 cell phone at school. Get is the teacher and just the teacher responsibility to give all the knowledge for the student on formal curriculum or the kid without smartphone and technology advancement. And in social side. Much of parents can't guide their children because of their intimacy. Because nowadays, 85% children more afraid to the teacher at school, and they more obey what their teachers say than their parents at home. So controlling mental manner, independence, or responsibility of using gadget more effective at school. Ladies and gentlemen, based on three premises of point of view, we as affirmative team totally agree to allow the the cell phone use at school. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.